Hello, 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 and welcome to Nana's Crochet Ideas. I am your host, Terry, and today I want to go over some of the makes that I had for the month of February. Now, um, I went to the store and bought buttons. I don't know where they are, but I do not have them on here yet. But I am doing... Um, I am doing the Tunisian Tuesday with Jane and doing a sample blanket, which prompted me to do this. So these have little uh, things to tighten them and I don't have the buttons. I did pick them up at Walmart last night. I don't know where they are. But anyway, these are fingerless mittens that are done in the simple stitch of Tunisian. So I did this set of fingerless mittens. I wanted to know if I could do it. I did do it. Now I have been working on my crochet along blanket, the pinwheels for it. That is on my Facebook page, so I'm not going to go through them today. I think I have about 25 of them done so far. So, you know, the challenge for the month was a throw. Okay, so I started out with all intentions of making this a throw, but I think it's a little bit longer. So here is our Tunisian that Jane is walking us through. This is a simple stitch. This is God only knows what stitch it is. Um, I don't know. It's the second stitch. I would say it's the extended, but I don't think it is. This is um, the next stitch. And what a mess I made of that one. This obviously is the next stitch. This is a mess, okay? This is a... Um, so, first of all, I have trouble when I work with parfait yarn because uh, it curls so much. But this is the pearl stitch. And as you can see, it is a mess. It is a mess. Yes, it's a mess. I know it's a mess. I did try, though. This is the next stitch, which... I forget what it's called, but I do like it. Then we have this stitch, which is uh, like a knit and, a, and a, a pearl or something. Then we have this, which I think is supposed to be the honeycomb. Now, I don't know. I feel like it didn't come out as well as I would like, but I'm thinking a lot of it has to do with this yarn, and I have ends, so if you see ends sticking out, I just still need to put them back in. This is called the slanted stitch, which I really like. And then this is, I don't know what stitch this one is. So this completes my blanket that I was making for a throw. And then I put this border on it, which I really like. It's called the slanted stitch or uh, sideways. I copied Nastasia's video. I believe it's called the sideways. Um, you know, so you crochet it all the way around, right? And it's basically back loop. And uh, 
so I decided to do it in brown even though I was doing blue and green on all the rest of the blanket I wanted the border to be in brown it is kind of long so I think our throw was supposed to be 48 by 60 and mine is probably about 48 by a lot more than 60 but I don't know it could sit on a twin size bed I think and be a nice cover for a, a child so um it's a little bit bigger than it was supposed to be but that's how it goes when I'm doing something but that's my Tunisian Tuesday with Jane that I've been working on and uh I think I'm caught up actually I'm not caught up with her so I was going to end in a blue row and my, I broke my hook. I broke my hook already and my daughter fixed it because it's one of the bamboo hooks with the rubber extended thing on the end. And for some reason, I don't know if I hold my thing too tight or what I do, but I break the plastic at the end of the hook. So I broke it. My daughter cut it off and put it back on. I want to say she used a touch of glue. She said she didn't. But when I broke it again, I was unable to get the plastic off the hook. And I struggled with it so much that I broke the end of the hook. So there was no fixing it anymore. So I need to buy new ones. Uh, which I will be doing in the next few days. But for so, so I went ahead and finished the blanket. It's plenty long enough um, for what it needs to be. So, um, so yeah, that'll work. But I do, I've been doing every, so each section is a different stitch and I've been doing every stitch. So if she does two or three stitches in one video, I do two or three sections so that I do them all. But a couple of them I had some issues with uh, and ripped it out and started over and ripped it out. I think I frogged more on this blanket than I've ever done on any project ever. So there you have it. But that's how we learn, right? That's that's how I look at it. That's how we learn is by redoing it over and 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 over again. Okay, so I had a verse sitting here to read to you that I dropped. Okay, so that's really all I have for you. So let's do the blessing. Um, it says, when everything goes well, enjoy life and praise God. But when everything, when things do not go that well, you need a strong faith to overcome the stumbling blocks and step out triumphantly. And it says, read Psalms 119.18. And I'm having a few of those right now lately. So that's very appropriate for me at this moment. I don't know about you guys, but it's appropriate for me for this moment. So that's all I really have for you today. May God bless you all today and every day. Have a wonderful few days and I will talk to you again in the next one. All right. Bye.